All right, I want to do a quick video on um, sliding. So, um, as you can see here, I've been dumping stone, and you can see the difference between this and that. If I actually bring this up, let's just bring this soil up, because this is actually at the, at the peak. All right, so it's 9.9, 8.9. If I put 7, um, 8, 9. So you can see that if I put stone on here, it would actually slide down. Um, but let's um, let's play around with clay and see what happens with clay. I can't remember what the uh, so this is ten. Ten point one. Ten point two. So you can see I'm oh I am uh, nearly two. Actually, yeah, it's like so. Let's go get some more clay. Now this is low level clay. Um, so I'm moving this low level clay and using it to build up here. I think there used to be high level clay here because it's kind of weird that um, if I do uh, inspect. That's a 30, right? But I don't understand how this can be a 30 unless it was dumped. And I thought maybe there was some level low level clay. This is a 6. This is 11. It's a 13. It's actually going up. 15. Actually, there's a high level tile up here somewhere. 25. So let's let's find this uh, tile real quick. Mark it. Let's see. Do this again. This one I don't know where it is. 42. I knew it'd be longer. So I'm following this line. Oh, 20. I missed it. Could be up here. I see all this digging up here. Interesting. Sometimes that's a sign. 41. We have to find the high tile point. 42. So I'm going up by twos now. 42. All right. 50. Seven It's a freaking pig there. Ninety one. I don't know what that is. What is that? That pig is guarding ninety four. I don't have a weapon. 95, 94, 93. Now, I may get 198. This is cool. This is forest soil right here. And I would 100 tile forest soil. This is something I don't have and I want. So let's uh, first cut down the tree. And you'll notice, I want to show you something here. Um, if I inspect this tree, it's not going to be a 100 quality tree, right? The quality of soil has nothing to do with the quality of the tree. So, But if I was to um, search for mushrooms and other stuff, I'll show you, then these things would be very high quality. All right, let's dig this out. So I'll teach you a little trick. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to dig that one out. So I'm going to flatten this one here. Okay. 
So now this becomes a marker. When I'm in this view, if I'm running around here, there's nothing else marked, and I see this tile's marked. I know this is my, my high-quality soil. So now let's um, dig up this soil. Oh, let me show you this first. So if I um, go to, is it art? Yeah, so mushrooms, berries, okay, is forest soil. So um, if you want to get high-quality mushroom for cooking or berries, this is what you want. So this is a really nice asset. Um, so I'm going to lower this ground. I'm going to take a bunch of the soil and I'm going to replace the soil that I have at the uh, at the place. There you go, 100 quality. So I don't need that much, but I'm going to place it strategically in different places and uh, folks can use it. Wait, I think I can carry one more maybe. 40, maybe it's is 20. Let's try to get one more. Nope, 75. Well, I'll leave it on the, on the coast. Uh, I really don't want to. Well, that's, I hate to run encumbered. Uh, let's see here. Let's take um, I hate being encumbered. You're really in the MMO or you don't want to be encumbered really at all, okay? Because um, unless you are near water, unless you can get away, you really don't want to be encumbered. Why do you think that is? Well, it's simple because you want to be able to get away and hit that flea button. And if you're encumbered, you're going to be mince meat. So run this back to the island. And I'm psyched. I've got 100 quality soil, 100 quality stone, and now 100 quality um, forest soil. So actually, I want to put that near the kitchen on the tile. I'll probably replace that stone tile that I have. For it. So you you know always kind of ask the questions. There's a little island. The other thing you want to be able to do is um, become comfortable swimming underwater. Because if you're swimming on top of water, you leave a spray, as I'll show you, and um, that spray can be seen from very very far away. Okay. Right. You see that spray? That that is very visible. From there, so you want to know your your swimming ability. You find the gate here. Should be one in here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. It hasn't been flattened. This is very very cool. So always, if you see your terrain changing number, then always hunt out that hundred soil. It could be hundred, like you know, I thought it would. I'm actually looking for 100 clay, because once I have 100 clay, then I can build a 4x4, whatever it is, a nice, um, oops, other thing is, always pay attention to your stem. All right, so the kitchen is here, okay. So when I'm standing up there, actually, this is what I'm going to remove this this because um, I have uh, I could put the clay under here. I guess I could put the forest soil over there. Let's see what options do I have? Because ultimately, if I'm on the kitchen up here on the kitchen, right? Let me get up here. Yep. I want to be able to just right click and gather mushrooms. So I also may need flint. Now flint is everywhere, so flint is not a problem. So I really don't need two stone tiles. And since I am putting about stone tiles, yeah, well, I only have two. Hmm. So I see which tiles. See, I can hit that one. Hit that one. Can I hit that one? I can't hit that one there. See, I'm trying to hit that one. So if I'm up here, actually, well, that has a furnace on it. I'll probably be destroying that furnace when it gets low, and then I can put some, put it there. Still got some time to go. 
So I'm thinking it's got to be here. So lower ground. And then what I'm going to do is um, put, um, I'm lagging up here. Uh, dum, dum, dum. Let's open up my, well, I got to, I got to split this into a 15 tile. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave 30 here. The reason for that is if I want the, well, I may downgrade it, change my mind. Wow, you can actually do poor as default. Interesting. But if you pour, it's going to go right under you, right? Ah, it's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. So because the soil may degrade, I don't. I'm not sure if it will. Should be okay there. Whoop! Where did it go? I think it went. I'm not sure where it went, but it didn't go where it wanted to go. Probably went on here. Yep. <laughs> Went on there. Uh, lower the ground. That's my ore. All right. Now let's uh, pour this here. Okay. So now that's poured, we want to flatten it. And you can see I use this tile too to make stuff. So what am I making there? I'm making... Um, you know, making a cart and make wheels and stuff. Let's uh, move this. Not sure, where we're gonna put? It. I think we need apples. We need something for apples or something. Drop. Okay. Um, you know, bark boxes are actually pretty good for apples. So we'll move this over here. And place that there. Uh, these make a great um, battlements if you get yourself where you don't move right across there. So I can um, reach the apple trees, hopefully, maybe. Is that an apple tree? Apple tree. And uh, I can basically gather apples, produce. And if I'm out there, oh, 15 apples, just one time, this high quality. And um, I can put the apples in here, as you can see, holds quite a lot of apples. And then with, with the oaks and stuff, I can grab the branches, I can make traps, I can put the traps on the ground and collect animals that are constantly feeding the one coop. You don't need a lot of coops, in my opinion, right? Because you can keep putting in high quality. You put them in the coop, right? And then you slaughter them in the coop. Um, my farming has got to go up higher. Uh, but I think I can slaughter. I don't know if I get proculation when I slaughter. So I'm slowly getting rid of the think some more 99, 80, 79. Okay, 77s are low. So let's let's slaughter this guy. What sort of? It's going to give me a notification. Cool. And gets rid of this uh, 75 rabbit needs to go. On that, so I got nine rabbits and three chickens. Um, I'm 12 out of 20. I'm like halfway. I actually should make some traps. I just return here. I can drop the, the hides off here. All right. Um, the little crap that comes off goes in here with all this stuff. Right, and um, move this down out of the way. Chickens, you really don't want to stack the chickens because you're going to get different quality food from the chickens. Actually, it's not much of a difference in the 60s. What I would do is actually stack, if it's in the 60s, if it's below 70s, I stack it all because it's basically peasant food, right? Uh, the bones, again, are going to be kind of low level, so I'll stack those too. Um, and um, 
they're going to go in the bone glue, right? So now I've got to organize. Actually, there's a claw there. Let's get rid of that claw. All right, claw goes in there. I've got a little bark box here, which really needs to be over here with the feathers. I don't know why it's there. So let's uh, actually move this here. Lift object. And maybe I'll put this on the other side right here. Drop. Actually, maybe I'll put it on the uh, on this other bark box, right? Okay, so slowly getting organized. So apples, food, feathers. Okay, uh, the te the all of this actually this area here is going to be tubs stacked up and everything else and um, all of this. What is this going to be here? What am I building here? Archery target. Ah, I need 20 straw for that. That's going to move. This can be frames. This can be tubs. So all of the um, stuff's going to be there. And um, the weaver kit's up on here. That's for weaving the flax. And again, I can manage everything from, if I get up there, ah, it's a little bit high. I'm right on the other side here. This is my, oh, this is my little, um, Area that's good to know that there's a new trap spot. All these bark boxes. So they're, you know, in order for someone to kill me in here, this is going to get blocked off, right? So this is really the only way. You got to run here. You can't jump up here, right? You got to run here and then run up here. So when this guy, I see a guy and I'm looking here, the only way in to kill me is this way, the entrance, okay? I'm going to be running out the back into the water <laughs> or I can wait for him here and fight him here right I can pull out my weapon okay pull out my shovel and whack him when he's up there whack him when he's trying to get me right so we'll role play that we'll have people training okay you're in your compound and when it rains we play like when it rains like this it's PvP time so when it rains if there is someone on the line, you're free to attack someone else. The rain causes craziness on this server. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go back to uh, dealing with this and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and um, also uh, join us on our Yo! Life is Feudal official server, which is in the description, or you can actually join us in the MMO. We are the Freeport Merchant Cooperative. We basically... Um, uh, we are not a guild in the traditional sense. Uh, we're actually a guild in the original sense, which means anyone can, um, can be part of what we do, um, by launching their own chapter or actually joining us. You don't have to be, you know, we're not a guild. We're, we're, you know, we're like a union or a cooperative. We come together, we're merchants and we have a militia guard. So we do have PVP. We have all different things. And I'll be making videos about that too in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye.